Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Good day. This is the Balder Beebe Show in Dallas, Texas. Who do I have in the studios with me? How you doing? I'm fine. Is this Jermaine Dupree? Yes, ma'am. Thank you so very much. They told me that you were going to stop by, take a little time, and talk to me about the rap game returns. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then. So I'm thinking it's been on, on a hiatus. It's about time for a new season. Fill me in. Yeah. I mean, well, it's only been four months since... For season one, um, so um, we back though. Uh, we had to come back. People wanted the show. The kids miss it. The kids need this education and excitement in their life. And uh, so I'm back with new uh, seven new contestants. Okay, this is on Lifetime. Let me ask you this: When you say the rap game, what are we saying to the audience? Let's tell them because you think everybody knows something, but I find out doing this show, everybody doesn't know everything. Yeah, uh, well, the rap game basically is about um, it's about myself, Jermaine Dupri, allowing um, seven um, contestants to come to Atlanta, and basically I put them through uh, Jermaine Dupri boot camp, basically to see which one of them is ready or prepared to become my next artist. And at the end of these 10 weeks, um, I signed one of these kids to Social Def, which is my record label. Uh, when I say rap game, um, it's basically a challenge. It's not a, it's not a, um, it's not a kick one person off a week show. It's basically challenges that these kids are, that are thrown at these kids every week. Um, so that's the game part of it. It challenges them to see who's best in the challenge. And I rate each one of the kids on what I call my hit list every week. And um, that's pretty much it. That's what makes it a game. But other than that, it's not a game. <laughs> okay. And I'm sure that they are rapping about a number of different things. What age groups are, are your contestants? Uh, well, this year the contestants are 11 to 16. And, I mean, that's pretty much the age bracket that you, you know, you have to be. It's no, nothing older than 16 years old and probably nothing younger than 11 unless we see someone next time that's incredible. But uh, that age bracket, 11 to 16, that's, that's to me, and that's, to me, that's a forgotten uh, group of people right now on, in, in, in America, period. Um, we, don't, we don't do a lot for that group. Uh, or for this age group and we think that everything is 21 and up or 18 and up and these kids are just forgotten as far as radio stations as far as the music that's played on the radio so many different things that just doesn't cater to this this, this age bracket so I, I just decided to make sure that you know I was the one person that did something for this age group as they're rapping uh, I, I'm assuming that they get help and coaching and things like that but are they being reflective of society? Uh, that's what rap started out to be. It was for the people who didn't have a voice in the, in the larger society. Are they that kind of rapping, bringing that reflection of what's going on in their world? Um, yeah, it should be. I mean, uh, some of the stuff that I do on, this, on, on challenges don't actually ask for that. But coming into that, yes. Um, if you go to, you know, if you, if you go to YouTube or you go to... Um, Instagram, you can see that um, each one of these kids actually put up uh, a Black Lives Matters rap recently. Uh, the kid J.I. from Brooklyn basically was the first one, and then um, Lil' Key put up one, and then um, Nia K. put up one from Chicago. And all of these kids are being, with the, this group of kids, they're from 
um, you know, the real inner cities like Brooklyn, Chicago and Baltimore, where uh, what's happening in the world today that we live in is really, really serious. So, yeah, they they do know and understand that they have a responsibility. And if people are, are paying attention to them, that they can do something by saying something. So, yes, they are uh, very aware of that. All right. Jermaine Dupree on Lifetime. When are we going to be able to watch this talented group of young up this, and coming? This Friday, July 22nd, this Friday. Make sure everybody tunes in. And I know you're doing a rap game. What else are you doing? You're always doing something else. Ah, uh, man, you know, I got another show, basically, that comes on tomorrow um, on BET. It's called Music Moguls with me, Snoop Dogg, Birdman, and Dame Dash. Um, and then, you know, constantly having music constantly coming out, so... Um, but just, yeah, you know, I got two TV shows basically in the same week. This has never happened in my life. And I'm very excited about that. All right, then. Well, I got to set my DVR. I got to watch. I got to be there. I got a lot to do with Jermaine Dupree. Jermaine, thank you for being my guest on the Valder BB show. All right. Thank you.